All right, we're here once again with Jeff Mayweather, boxing trainer extraordinaire. Uh, Jeff, what did you think of the ending of the Dawson Hopkins fight? Well, I thought that um, it was a horrible um, ending to the fight, and I thought that um, that this should have been the fight should have been a no contest and not a draw, not whatever. They, and first they got it wrong by saying that Dawson made Dawson champion, and now I think that um, with that happening. And the way Dawson, I mean, I don't know why the guy was so bitter. I've never seen Dawson so out of character. You know, he's, he's a very humble guy. I mean, he's a great fighter, too. But, I mean, for some reason, I don't know if he's a Bernard guy on his skin or whatever, but Chad yeah, Dawson wasn't himself. And um, and I think that, you know, the one thing about it is that the fight after it, got, after it was over and, and Dawson had to go, he made it clear that he wasn't going to fight. He wasn't going to fight Bernard again. So now that he doesn't have the belt, and now he's asking for a rematch, I would make sure that he never got a shot, you know, and not and, and not doing it just because of the fact that, you know, he did me that way, but because the reality is this and that, you know, that the pay-per-view numbers did nothing. So basically, it's a fight that doesn't mean anything in terms of, you know, if you fight for the money, and I'm sure that that's the Bernard fight for at this stage in his career. I mean. 40, what, 46, 47, I don't know, but anyway, you know, he's, he's not just fighting, you know, solely just for dragon rights, so I think that um, I would avoid Dawson altogether and move on to fight somebody else with a better name, a bigger name that can, can help me, you know, um, sell the fight. Do you think finishes like that shed a negative light on the sport? I'm sorry? Do you think uh, finishes like, like that, they shed a negative light on the sport? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say they, they should make the light. I just think that, you know, sometimes when things like that happen, the, um, the, the fans, they kind of lose, they kind of lose out. You know, I think so. Basically, but I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, it's, it's horrible. It's the fact that, you know, the fans do lose out when, you know, you have two guys going there and then the fight is that way. Um, what, in your opinion, should have been the official result of that fight? Well, I think just with the fight only went two hours, so I would, you know, normally when a fight doesn't go, um, you know, past four rounds, usually um, it's, it's, you call it, it's either called a no contest or, um, well, basically that's what it's called. It's called a no contest because it hasn't passed four rounds. But I guess in this case scenario, it was kind of like they didn't know for sure if the now was hurt or anything. But, I mean, I think that, you know, it's unfortunate for, for Chad that, you know, he had so much hostility in him that, you know, when he seen the opportunity to actually throw Bernard, kind of, he kind of lift Bernard up with his shoulders and actually intentionally threw him to the floor. So, you know, that's the end result of it. All right, now, final question. Besides the obvious uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao, what's the one fight out there that you'd like to see made? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. I got to think. I really like this. I really like this kid, Brandon Reels. And I, I would kind of like to see him in the room with possibly maybe a Khan or, or maybe Tim Bradley. I think that would be a good fight. Uh, Jeff, well, thank you for your time. And be sure to check out Jeff's new website. It's uh, ProBoxingInsider.com. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.